In this module, we'll identify and look to resolve over allocations. You'll notice that I have the module 11 file open, and you'll see immediately that over to the left hand side, that in the indicator column, there are a couple resources here that appear to be over allocated. The little red indication here, the little red guy. And this is telling us that we have some resources out in our schedule that have been over allocated. And you can click on them here and you can see that on the right hand side that Kim Rawls has been assigned to these tasks that are overlapping and so there's potential over allocation there. Same thing down here in the bottom as it relates to these lower tasks here. Now one of the views that you can use when you want to identify an over allocation that project provides us is the resource graph view. So if I right click and I click on resource graph, this can be a useful view to get a visual representation of how the resource is assigned across this timeline. So you'll notice that I'm in the project manager here in the resource graph and I can scroll to the left hand side here until I get to the resource that I'm interested in. I'll keep going and notice that it's just scrolling me through the different resources. And so this particular view is showing me that Kim Rawls is over allocated in this time frame, right? 150 and then 200% here. In, and I can zoom in if I want to get a little bit closer to that there on the lower right hand side. Okay. Now I'll go back to the Gantt chart. Now the utilities that you have within project when it comes to over allocations you can find in the resource tab. So by clicking in the resource tab on the right hand side you'll notice that there's a level section. So the idea is that these commands here are going to give you the ability to set your leveling options and to actually perform resolving these over allocations. So the first thing that you'll want to take a look at will be your leveling options so that when you do perform the leveling within project, what options is it going to use? So if you click on leveling options, you'll then see the resource leveling dialog box and you can go through these different settings like the calculations, either manual or automatic. Look for over allocation on a day to day basis or perhaps hour to hour, week by week. Clear leveling before values before leveling and then the range in which you want to perform leveling. So often project managers will level only a certain set of periods within their projects. And then down below you have the leveling order. You can set it to being by priority perhaps and then standard. Then also notice the down below the checkboxes here level only within available slack. Can adjust individual assignments on a task. Can create splits in remaining work. This is, these are the options that you're setting. You'll also notice that you can clear the leveling and you can level all as well from this dialog box. Those are also available to you out here on the ribbon. So I'll go ahead and cancel that to show you some other options. In the level area, notice that you, as I mentioned, have level all, but then you can level an individual resource. You also have in this level area the ability to just take you to the next over allocation. So as you're working through your schedule and you have quite a few different tasks in here, you might want the tool to just jump you to that particular over allocation. So I'll do that here. I'll click on over, next over allocation and it takes me to that particular task and it will just go through that list. And then eventually it'll tell me that it has no more over allocations. When I'm ready to perform the level resources, I'll go ahead and click on level resource. And I'm going to choose the resource that I want to be working with. In this case, I'll go ahead and use Kim Rawls here and say level now. And you'll notice that there was some changes that were made to the schedule and there was an adjustment and the over allocations are now gone. Okay. I can also clear that leveling and I can do it for the selected task or the entire project, which I'll do the entire project. And it basically just shifts it back. Now that's quite useful but what you might also want to be able to see is the visual impact of what happened and what was there before. And of course, you notice that we were able to clear the leveling and that brought it back to the previous state before we leveled. 
Now, what I'm referring to is known as the resource allocation view. And this is a useful view when working with these different leveling commands. And I'll show that to you here. So I'm going to right click to get to my view area. And you'll notice that it's not a view off of the common views in the view bar. So I'm going to go to more views. From the more views, I'm going to scroll down and I'm looking for this view called resource allocation, the resource allocation view. Go ahead and click on that and I'll apply it. The resource allocation view is a split view that is showing me the leveling Gantt in the, in the lower section and the resource usage view in the top. It allows me to click on a particular resource to then display the resources assignments down in the lower pane, down in the leveling Gantt. Now the leveling Gantt is a good view as it stands alone when you are performing leveling. In fact, we could have gone to the leveling Gantt before we started to perform these leveling commands to give us this visual representation of what it's doing when it levels. What I like about this particular view is that it allows us to not only see the before and after, but we can still work in the details of the assignment and even replace resources if we need to from this screen. So again, with Kim Rawls selected, and I'm in the leveling Gantt, just in this lower pane here, I'm going to level the resources. So I'll click on Level Resources, and notice that I have the two resources selected. In this case, I'm just going to do Kim Rawls again, and I'll do a level now. And you'll see the impact of that leveling step that we just performed, right? So the green is before and the blue is after. So you can see that right there that there's a delay that has been placed between these two tasks. And then you can see here how it was simply same as before, moved out to not cause the over allocation for this particular task here. Okay, And I can reverse that. I can clear the leveling to move it back. I'll do the entire project again and just bring it back to its previous state. I'll remove the split bar and go back to the Gantt chart.